morning students how are you today okay very good so before that i will show you some three pictures and you will guess what type of tools they were belong so first picture this what picture is this yes this is a chef knife next picture is the name of this tool hmm? okay very good this is a paring knife so these three pictures which i what tools they were below so these three picture which tools they were belong what okay very good these are the cutting tools very good okay what was our lesson yesterday anyone yes okay very good our lesson yesterday is all about 5s and what is 5s what have you learned from the topic okay very good so it's good to know that you have learned something from yesterday okay so before that we will have a short activity and i will group you into four okay i will call your name and go to your group we are which group you are okay but we will have a review and a short activity before we go into our discussions okay children are you familiar with four picks one word okay so but this time we will have some twists okay um this activity is called four picks one phrase okay so i grouped you into four yesterday right okay now go to your group and now pass this paper to each group okay thank you so you may now start your answer you may start answering okay group one present your answers uh-huh okay okay thank you group one group two mm, okay okay thank you group two next group three oh very good very good okay next is group four the last group okay very good okay thank you group one two three and four for your answers and now let's finalize it so what is the correct answer anyone anyone in the group okay yes yes the correct answer is kitchen tools very good please clap your hands okay without further ado let's move to our discussion it's all about kitchen tools equipment and paraphernalia and what is kitchen tools kitchen tools and equipment is a great help in maintaining the cleanliness and orderliness at the same time, equipment could help the cook chop, slice, and meat. Okay, without further ado, let's move to our discussion. It's all about kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. And what what is kitchen tools? Can you read? Okay, very good. Kitchen tools. And equipment is a great help in maintaining the cleanliness and orderliness in, in the kitchen. And some of the, this equipment could help the cook chop, slice, and neatly, and neatly means raw ingredients. Cooking equipment specially made for such and they are designed to be mess free as well. Use of dry measuring cups is to measure the solid cooking ingredients such as flour, sugar, or oats, or any solid cooking materials or ingredients you know. Okay? Next is the liquid measuring cups. It is allow you to pour liquid into the cup and bring it even with 
with a measurement line without peeling. Okay, these are usually glass or plastic with a handle. These two tools belong to what? Okay, yes, very good. This belong to measuring tools. And now let's move to kitchen shears. Okay, kitchen shears used for snipping herbs, cutting or and this is kitchen shears. As you can see, parang Okay, but this has a different use and different physical appearance. Okay? Can you identify? Okay, very good. I will close here. And now let's move to knives. A kitchen knife that is intended to be used in food preparation. So there are a common types of kitchen knives, mainly first chef knife. Have you seen chef knife already? Not yet? Okay, I will show you a picture. This is a kitchen knife. Okay? Nakikita nyo ba ang kitchen knife? Very good. So, chef knife are used for cutting prime meats such as those prepared by a butcher, vendor, dicing common vegetables, disjointing some cuts, and slicing herbs. Okay, the next type of kitchen knife is paring knife. Have you seen paring knife? Oh, not yet. Okay, I will show you a picture. This is a paring knife. Did you see it? Okay, very good. I will show you an um, actual picture of paring knife. This is a paring knife. Okay, what is the use of paring knife? Paring knife is to peel or cut fruit and vegetable into small pieces or integrate cutting, mincing, and dicing. Serrated knife. This is the picture of serrated knife. Okay. Physical description of serrated knife is like a tooth-like edge. This one, an idea for cutting food with hard exterior and soft ex interior such as loaf bread. This serrated knife usually called or commonly called bread knife. Next kitchen tools is a measuring spoon. So measuring spoon used to measure an amount of an ingredient either liquid or dry when cooking made of plastic, metal, and other materials. This is the picture of measuring spoon. This is the picture or sample picture of cooking stove. Okay, this is simply a stove called a stove or a cooker. And there are two types of stove. A gas stove and electrical stove or electric stove. Okay, the use of cook cooking stove is to cook food. Okay? Okay, next, let's move to range. So, what is range? Have you seen range already? Or do you have range in your house? In your kitchen? No? Okay. This is the sample picture of range. I will show you. This is range. Okay. okay, range is a stove with a room for cooking several different things at one time. This flat section of a stove is contained a number of flat heating elements or cooking surfaces, either gas or electric, what I said a while ago. Next, let's move to our 
last kitchen tools and equipment the oven okay oven is used a uh, used as a kitchen equipment for roasting and heating food cook in this manner include meat casseroles and baked goods such as bread cake and other desserts so the two most popular oven are convection and conventional oven this is the sample picture of oven and now you, did you learn something yes okay very good so so now let's answer our activity okay what is the first kitchen tools and equipment anyone okay yes kitchen shears kitchen shears okay very good kitchen shears and what is the function of kitchen shears anyone okay yes this for snipping herbs cutting and breaking down poultry oh snipping herbs snipping cutting and break down poultry oh very good break down poultry okay thank you for answering second tools anyone okay dry measuring cups dry measuring cups hmm dry measuring cups and what is the use or functions of dry measuring cups okay this used for cooking solid cooking ingredients used for used for what cooking solid ingredients used for cooking used for Okay. Used for cooking solid ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good for answering. The third kitchen tools, what is it? Okay, yes. Measuring spoon. Measuring spoon. Spoon. Okay. Measuring spoon. And what is the use or function of measuring spoon? It is used to measure an amount of ingredients, either dry or liquid. Okay. Used for measuring. Okay, kindly repeat. Used for measuring an amount of ingredients, an amount of ingredients, either dry or liquid, either dry or liquid. dry or liquid. Okay, thank you for answering. Okay, the last two kitchen tools and equipment. Yes, cooking stove, cooking stove, cooking. So, and what is the functions of cooking stove? It is used to cook food. Used to cook food. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one. Anyone? Okay. Paring knife. Paring knife. Paring knife. And what is the function of paring knife? It used to peel or cut fruits and vegetables into small pieces. Okay, used to peel or cut fruit and vegetables into small pieces. 
into small pieces. So let's now let's check your activity. Kitchen shears, snipping, cutting, cutting, and break down poultry. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Very good. Next is dry measuring cups. It is used for cooking solid ingredients. Hmm. Is this right? Right. Yes, this is correct. The third is measuring spoon. Used for measuring an amount of either dry or liquid. It is correct? Correct! Okay, very good. Next is cooking stove. Used to cook food. Is this enough use of the use of an on cooking stove? Yes! Yes! Very good! And then the, the last one is paring knife. Used to peel or cut fruit and vegetables into small pieces. Mm, it is right? Right! Yes! Very good! Okay, so we also have other kitchen tools and equipment. So let's break it down, which is Knives, chef knife, liquid measuring cups, serrated knife, ranges, oven, and measuring spoon. So check your check the activity of your classmates, okay? Okay, very good. Okay. For you as a student, why is it important to know the different kitchen tools and equipment? Anyone? Yes, very good. It is important to know the different kitchen tools and equipment for us to be able to do the task easily. Right? Okay. And what is what is its implication in your daily life? Anyone? Okay, very good. Yes. The implication in your daily life is to help you prepare uh, it to help you prepare or cook foods which is important in our life food is important in our life right yes very good why it is important to use the right tools and equipment anyone okay yes very good it is important to use the right tools and equipment for us to do the job correctly. And now, let's move forward. Okay, the class will be divided into three groups and each group will prepare a short skit demonstration the proper use of kitchen tools and equipment. I will give you a five minutes to prepare. Hey, thank you group 1, 2, and 3 for your wonderful performance. And now let's move to our next activity. Okay. Our next activity, the direction is you put a check if the statements in column A match with the column B. If not, Write the correct words that best describe the statement. Okay, I will give you again an activity sheet and you will answer it. Okay, pass it to your classmates. Number one, it is used for measuring solid cooking ingredients such as flour and sugar. It is a dry measuring cup. Is it right or wrong? Yes, it is. Yes, it is correct. Dry measuring cups. Number two, it is used as a kitchen equipment for roasting and heating. Food normally cooked in this manner include meat, casseroles, and baked goods such as bread, cake, and other desserts. 
It is ranges. It is correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Wrong. Very good. What is the correct answer? Aha, uh -huh. oven. Yes, the correct answer is oven. And let's move to number three. Tools used for cutting fried meats such as those prepared by butchers or vendors and dicing common vegetables and disjointing some pots and slicing meats. What is the correct answer? It is a kitchen knives? No! The correct answer is chef knife. Okay, number four. It is used to measure an amount of an ingredient, either liquid or dry when cooking. The correct, what is the correct answer? It is measuring spoon. It is? Okay, very good. It is a measuring spoon. Okay, the last number, five. It is used for snipping herbs, cutting open food packaging, and breaking down poultry. What is the right answer? It is kitchen shears. It is? Yes, the answer is kitchen shears. Very good. Now, before we end our class, I will give you some assignment. I will read the assignment and write it down on your notes. Research additional kitchen tools that commonly found in the kitchen. And bring at least 10 pictures of different equipment found in the kitchen. Again, research additional kitchen tools and equipment that commonly found in the kitchen. And bring at least 10 pictures of different equipment. You get it? Okay, very good. Class, thank you for your participation and God bless you.